Hi there. Welcome to Coding Across the Curriculum, where I'm going to show you how to use coding or computational thinking in other areas of the curriculum. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a music machine. Let's get started. To make my music machine, the first thing I want to do is to change my backdrop. The white background is alright, but it's not as interesting as it could be. So I'm going to click down here on Choose a Backdrop and scroll down until I find this one called Spotlight. You, of course, could choose whatever you want. I'm going to move my sprite there so it looks like he's standing on the stage. And now I'm going to add a musical instrument from the sprites. There are several drums, so we're going to start with our drum. And obviously it doesn't want to stay there, so I'm going to move it so it's standing on the side of the stage. So the first thing I'm going to code is this drum to play a beat over and over and over and over again. And I want that to happen when I click on the sprite. So the event block that's going to start in the yellow blocks here is the when this sprite clicked. The music blocks, while in Scratch 2.0 they were a little bit easier to find, you kind of have to go a little bit looking for them and open them up. So down here in the corner, if you click on here, you'll see there's a bunch of different extensions and different types of blocks that you can add. So we're going to use the music ones today, so that's what we'll have. The first thing that you should do is set your tempo. So I'm going to drag that block in, set tempo to 60. Now that 60 stands for 60 beats per minute, which means if there's 60 seconds in a minute, that there is one beat every second. I said earlier that we wanted to do this beat over and over and over continuously, so we're going to take a control block, a forever block to be specific, so that whatever we put in here is repeated over and over and over, so we can kind of save on putting a lot of the code in over and over and over. Going back to the music blocks, I, when you see I pull them out, it says play drum, snare drum for 0 0.25 beats. So we're going to, to make sure that we kind of add these up so we can keep track of them for later on. So I'm actually going to use two of these 0.25 or quarter beats, and I'm also going to use two rests for a quarter of a beat. So that would be a total of one beat there. So this should take a whole second. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and give it a go. See if you can change the background, find some new sprites, and make a beat that your music can play by. When you're done, unpause the video and see what's next. Now that you've made your first bit of code, the next important step is to debug the code, just to make sure that everything works the way you want it to work. Let's try that. As with any program that you make on Scratch or any other coding language, it's important that every step of the way you test it out to see if it works properly. So we're going to test this out to see if this does what I want it to do, which is to play this beat over and over and over when I click on the drum. So let's press play. That sounds pretty good. It's by no means finished, but it's at least doing what we expected it to do. So we can move on and start building a little bit more into our program now. Now it's your turn to check your program to see if everything works the way you want it to. If it doesn't, make some changes. Don't forget to pause the video and unpause it when you're done. Our next step is to add another instrument to our music machine. Let's see how to do that. To ensure that the, that the instruments sync and they play at the same time and not at random times, we need to actually create a variable. I'm going to call this new variable notes so that I know that this will be kind of like a quarter note, so a quarter of a beat. Because most of the, the scratch things go in multiples of that. So I've made my variable, and now when the flag is clicked, I want to set this variable to, I'm going to set that variable to one. So not my variable, but notes to one. 
Now, I want to also use a loop so that this is continually changing. And forever, I want the beat to go up by one every quarter of a second. So what I actually need to do is I need to do an if then else statement. So I'm going to put if my, where is it? So if my variable notes is less than four, so if it's one, two, or three, what it's going to do is change the variable by one. Now, the next case, so when it's one, it's going to change to two. When it's two, it's going to change to three. And when it's three, it's going to change to four. Now, the next thing it needs to do is if it's if it's four, it's going to skip this. And I actually want to set the variable back to one. And I actually just missed changing that there. It's a good thing I caught that. Now, what's going to happen here is it's going to go really, really fast. So in each block, I need to do a wait. But I'm not going to do wait one second. I'm going to wait, wait 0.25 seconds, which is the same as a beat. So now, when I start my flag, you'll see up here the notes are going. And if I click on the snare drum, Um, you'll notice if you're looking very carefully, there's a little bit of it's falling out of sync. So what I'm going to do is in the this block here in this set of coding here, this chunk, I'm going to actually go until and add a wait until block. And I'm going to make that until notes equals one. So that every time that it goes on to one, that's when this is going to start and it's going to restart over and over and over. So it is constantly in sync. This was a problem that I discovered through lots of trial and error. And scratch just for some reason, the instruments do not stay in sync. So if I try this again here. You'll notice that almost on every one and three, the snare drum is playing. Now it's your turn. Have a go at setting up the notes variable so that your music will stay in sync. Now that you've set up your notes variable, it's time to program a new instrument. Once we've set up the notes variable to keep on turning over, we can add a new instrument and a new kind of line to our music. So I'm going to go and add another sprite. And this time, I'm going to add the piano or the keyboard. So again, I'm going to move it so it's not completely in a weird spot. So it's kind of could be lying on the floor there. And again, I'm going to go to an events block and use the when this sprite clicked, just to make sure that everything's a okay. I'm going to use a set tempo to 60 block. And I'm also going to do a set instrument. And in this case, I don't have to change it. But it's at piano, I could have used a lot of different things here. So once this happens, once it's, it's set the tempo and it's set the instrument, I'm going to open up a forever block and have it wait in that forever block to start each time until, as we did in the other one, that the notes variable is equal to one. That means that as this is going, every single one of these, I guess, bars, as you would, as you would kind of note in music, starts at the exact same time. So I'm going to pull out a few different notes. This is a chance for you to kind of make any different kind of tune that you want. I had a little play with this the other day, and I came up with, so that's a B, with the next note being an A, and then the last one being the, the C there. 
And I also had, instead of 0 0.25, 0 0.5. So when you add 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, that gets you one. So this should time to be the same as the drum. So when we try that and we press play, I click on the drum and that beat there you can see and then with the piano and you can hear that they're for the most part in sync. Now it's your turn. Can you add a second instrument or a third or a fourth or a fifth? Have a go and see what comes comes up. When you're finished doing that, you get to see what I finished. If you're looking for any more inspiration, here's the music machine that I made. Have a look. I've added a few more instruments to my music machine. When you're making yours, feel free to add any, diff any different instruments that you want to add and make the tunes or the beats, whatever you feel like. There's lots of different ways that you can kind of make this your own. Here's what mine sounds like. That's all for today. I hope that you've had some fun and that you've learned something. If you got stuck somewhere or just need a reminder of one of the things we did, you can always rewind the video. Or if you go into the description below, you'll see some timestamps where you can find the spots that you need. In the description, you'll also find a link to the program that I made. So you can look at that, um, how it works, and all the code that I did behind the scenes. Please have a look at our other videos to see what other coding things and other uh, maker ed and zed goodness that you can find and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get all the future videos that we're going to release thanks again and see you next time